Well, you guys, we are making good progress here. I'm really happy with the way that's coming out. I think the slope is going to be perfect. And I can't wait to see the final product. We're about a third of the way done right now. And I got to say, it's going pretty good so far. Fingers crossed. next day. What is up everybody? We got dumped on with a little bit of snow last night. Concrete, I haven't seen it yet so I don't really want to check it right now. I'm kind of worried. I did come out here and cover it last night. I put all these glass panes over it and I have the glass door on the end there but it was better than nothing. Eh, what the heck, we'll take a look. Still pretty soft. It's definitely moving the right way. duct tape off too. Oh, that's nice.
Well, the concrete seems to be drying all right. It is getting wet, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Even though I cover it up, water still seeps in from the sides. I don't think it's gonna damage it, and I think we'll be all right, but only time will tell. I'm headed into town right now to get three or four more bags so we can finish that. But here in a bit, I'll have to head to Columbus because I'm taking a drug test today. Because this week, Tuesday through Friday, I'll be working for my buddy MJ. I'll probably be saying this multiple times, but yeah, he owns a sign company. I'm helping him finish up one of his jobs and we're hanging the rest of the letters on one side of the building. I'll definitely get some videos of that, but I'm looking forward to it. Make a little bit of extra money, hang out with some friends, and it should be a good time. Last year at this time, we were working on the McDonald's projects. I helped them out for a few months last year and we were doing all the digital menu board installs. So if you ever go to McDonald's and you're ordering from one of those TV screens, that's what we installed. It was pretty cool. Those jobs were definitely a pain in the arse sometimes, but he seems to think this will be pretty straightforward, so we'll see how it goes. Thanks again to everyone who tuned in to the live stream yesterday. It was a really awesome time, and I enjoyed it as always. So for those of you that miss out on the live streams, make sure you have those post notifications on so you'll get notified when I go live. But every Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we do that. Apparently, we're supposed to get some more weather today. I hope it stops so it'll give the concrete a break. But as soon as I took that duct tape off, the water started to go down in the drain, and it seemed to be draining out the other side, so I think we'll be all right. Well, you guys, this is it. It's the next day. It's slowly starting to dry. Temperatures are getting warmer, but unfortunately all the snow on this roof is just gonna keep leaking down here for a couple days. The concrete looks good for the most part. There's a few places where the water got to it. And I ended up making this form and pouring this slab inside here. And the reason that I did this is because this slab is pretty much level with that. So if we were to get a hard rainfall, potentially the water would run onto the wall. It's gonna be metal anyways, but I don't want it to get underneath. So I'm actually gonna build my wall on top of this concrete right here. And as you can see right here, there's like a two inch lip. So I'm not gonna worry about it there. But right here, it was pretty much level with this new concrete. So that wasn't that good. And that's why I won't have to worry about water leaking underneath ever. But the weather's gonna get better, so we'll see after a few days what this looks like. I'm fairly confident it's gonna be all right. If not, we can go in with some patch repair and a little bit of mortar mix and clean up the areas that I don't like. But you know what? I didn't expect it to be perfect, and I am really happy with the way that it turned out. So we should be good there. And what does that mean? Well, we can start building the walls next. I think I'm gonna start with the wood stove wall so we can, you know, start having heat in here. And I've got some things to figure out with that. Like I said, I just wanna make sure it's fireproof and never have to worry about the wall catching on fire or anything 
like that. So hopefully we'll make some progress soon. Today was the first day working with MJ and just had a safety meeting today. That is it, but we're already behind. What do you know? Hopefully we get caught back up and finish this job by the weekend. But in tomorrow's video, I have another big mod coming to the Tesla camper. I'm excited about this one. It's definitely gonna be nice for the winter. I'll tell you that much. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. I know a lot of you love these building videos and the time lapses. So make sure you show some support, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and until tomorrow's video, I'll see you then.